Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm here with very important and interesting topic about how to create your resume out of your LinkedIn profile. And then we'll also discuss what are the things that you need to remember when you are creating the LinkedIn profile and how important is your LinkedIn profile in your job search. So this is in continuation of the short video that I posted. In this video, I'll explain everything in detail step by step. So to create your LinkedIn profile, and why your LinkedIn profile is important in job search is the reason being that LinkedIn is so popular and kind of a go-to place for the recruiter to see what people are available and what the profiles look like. So basically when they come to LinkedIn, they are looking for every level of people in the field. So say for example, you are a software tester, the recruiter will come to LinkedIn and they'll start finding the software testing profiles based on the location. And when your profile looks Looks pretty good with all the information up to date then those are the profiles which are made properly in LinkedIn and have all the fields filled in appropriately those are the profiles that are listed well on the LinkedIn overall ecosystem and also being preferred by the recruiter so you might get contacted directly by the recruiter over the LinkedIn I keep getting so many messages from the recruiter directly for the job openings so good LinkedIn profile really helps a lot. Now, my profile itself is not very much updated, but I would recommend that you try to make your profile, especially if you're looking for job and open to work now, then whenever you are looking for job, make sure LinkedIn is the first thing that you should go ahead and try to update and make it as perfect as you can. All right, so let's go ahead. Now, first thing, in order to update my profile, I log into LinkedIn, right? And I will go to my profile, right? So I'll just go to view profile and I show you, show you my profile. So what are the key things that you should, you know, not forget to include in your LinkedIn profile? So if you see this top, you know, banner, right? So where can you create this banner and put the banner? So banner will help a lot to the recruiter, like seeing your banner itself. It's clear that I'm from test automation, test management, and I have agile, safe SPC as well. Um, so putting all this basic information there helps a lot along with your picture here. So this will really help to outstand your profile, right? So how we can create this banner? Simply go to Google search and search for Canva, right? So I will open this Canva and you can create it freely. So do not need to sign up or get a pro account. So on Canva, you can get a lot of things freely. So simply uh, go to Canva and search for LinkedIn banner, right? So click on LinkedIn banner, close this pop-up. So here you will see all different designs of the banner, right? So try to keep it simple. Do not try to make it, I mean, try to keep it relevant to your job profile. Now, if you are applying for testing jobs or IT jobs, try to keep it simple as much as you can. So say, for example, if you'll see here, this is free, right? So I can simply choose it. So there are premium and a pro and free. So this, this is free, uh, this is pro banner. So I'll avoid that. I'll simply say, for example, I'll pick this one, right? So I will come here, I'll change the text, I'll move the text as per required. I'll add my photo here. So all of that designing you can do for free here. Once you are done with your banner, you design it, simply go ahead and download the banner, right? So download, and if you click on download, it will download the banner for you, right? So here you will see that the PNG file will get downloaded and then you can use it on your profile, right? So this is basically how you will create this banner, okay? So go and apply your creative thinking there. This is what I designed myself so go and apply the creative thinking design your banner and see how beautiful your profile will look like okay now coming to the next section try to get the details here so basically with your name what exactly the key highlights about your profile right so what exactly you are and I'm not saying this is the perfect one but yeah try to make it as better as you can okay then moving to the next section if you'll see I have the about section in which all the information about myself with the certifications technical skills project skills is already mentioned there right then uh, all all the courses that I have published I have added some of them not all uh, if I move down you will see that I have here experience all the experience has been included as part of the 
overall my career journey so all the experience i have added along with the education license and certification so once you basically add all of this in your profile okay so i have say for example i'll show you how you can edit and add it as well okay so this these are some of the key points that i want to add so for example in this particular role that i am currently at okay so i'll simply edit i'll add the title i'll use the employment type or add the employment type the company can if you'll start typing in the company it will automatically if the company page or company exists on linkedin you can directly select the company right so that you will get logo and everything automatically added there the location and then check if you are currently working on that role check that box okay even if you are fresher your education detail your project details try to add those in your experience okay do not keep it blank right so even though you are a fresher you would have done a lot of projects in your college or you are learning few stuff nowadays right so whatever you are learning you can put those that learning as a project if you have created something if you are automating something put that project into the linkedin profile and that will give you some edge over the other candidates who do not put all this information right so you can put you know like the overall start date and what you are doing currently the headline industry and then in description i will simply say for example i'll paste all the information there okay and then simply save it if you want to add media photos there is option for that as well right so once this is done so you'll see that these tick marks right so where where exactly like these tick marks or the the icon basically to show the bullets right this this looks bit better so where you can get these is you if you go to this get emoji right get emoji.com on this website you go to the unicode symbol because if you'll go to the symbols here and try to use some of the symbols these don't appear properly on the linkedin profile okay even link unicode symbols don't work all of them but you do not have to worry about all the symbols or you don't in your linkedin profiles it's not advisable to put smiley and things like that right so put very simple bullet things so say for example for bullets i usually either use this tick mark okay or i use a diamond or a square right so i'll simply say for example copy this okay and come back to my profile and i will update it right so i'll simply edit and then say for example here let me remove some of these and put the icon there right i'll save it and once all the information has been saved right once my profile is looking fine then in that case if you'll see these are the two icons that i have added right and then i will simply to create the resume what i'll do is i will i will simply go to the more section right and here you can save to pdf okay so let's see what it will show when you'll say save to pdf okay so if you'll save pdf it will prepare the pdf and will download it okay so i'll simply say profile right and profile.pdf and save it okay once it saves you will see that it creates a pdf right and all the information from my linkedin profile has been created and available in form of a pdf format which is which looks like sort of a resume it doesn't look very good right so you can design or you can update this resume but still okay doable not not too fancy but it's all right so this is not what i would recommend i would recommend going into your profile and then creating your resume and updating the sections accordingly to create the proper resume so to create your resume what you need to do is go to more all right and go to build a resume right so there is already a resume that i built i'll delete it and again go to more build a resume right and here you'll see that this is how it will appear when you'll open build a resume for the first time and if you have an existing resume and you are just applying for the job you do not want linkedin resume functionality to create a resume you can simply upload your resume okay whether it's in the pdf or word format but from the profile you can create as well so if i say create from profile it will give me the option to choose the job title so i'll say test architect right and apply so based on this profile that i'll give it will give me the keywords that are there in the resume okay so once you create this resume you'll see that this is how your resume will look like right and now basically you have to update all the information here you will see that all the email phone every, everything your linkedin profile everything will come at the top your location and your summary that you have put along with the the certificate 
qualifications, technical skills, whatever you have put in, in the LinkedIn profile will be appearing here. Now, if you want to edit anything, simply click on this pencil icon. So for example, I want to edit something in the summary. I'll edit the details here. Uh, you, you do not want technical skills in this, this format. You can use the pipe format and things like that. Tables are not, I haven't been able to find the insertion of the table here. So you can use the pipes to basically segregate these technical skills and details accordingly, right? So update as per your need and how you want your profile to look like. Any of the sections that you see here, the certifications, if you scroll down, once you are done with all of that updating and editing, you can click on preview, right? So it will show you the preview of your resume. So if you click on preview, you will see that all the information is appearing here properly in the form of the resume right so it, it will it will show you your name all the details all your previous job details into your resume and then finally if you're happy with all the details you will see that education the license and certification skills once you are happy that this is how your profile should look like then you can go ahead and download it if you are not then go ahead and edit accordingly and the way you will update your profile here in the resume that's how your resume will look like okay once you are happy simply go ahead and click on more and download as a pdf right so i'll click on download as a pdf and save this so this will be saved as third copy right so i have created few more previously and if i'll open this resume you will see it appears exactly the same way what we saw in the preview with all the details that i can easily use to apply for job right so even though you are absolute fresher and do not have any sort of a template that you can rely on this is much better way to basically go ahead and create your resume because you do not have to worry about any of the formatting things and things like that so as far as your profile contains the information properly and for emojis i have anyways mentioned about this unicode symbol try to go ahead and do the unicode symbol if any of the symbol doesn't work try other one okay because there are some which doesn't work then your profile will basically look like this and it is absolutely fine to send to the recruiter and apply using this particular resume that you are seeing on this screen right this is pretty decent one uh it's i won't say it's the best one you can you know even format in much better way in the world document or if you have a template but this is much much better than so many resumes that I have got from the fresher candidates and three to four year experience testing candidates so if you are not aware how to get the template and design the template and things like that go ahead follow this path and build good resume and start applying the job on LinkedIn right so once your resume is ready how you can go ahead and search the jobs on LinkedIn. So go to jobs, right? So on LinkedIn, you have this job section as well. And here you can search for the jobs, right? So based on your keywords or the your resume and your profile, it will automatically suggest some of the jobs to you. But you can anyways, basically search for the job, right? So you can search for the jobs. So for example, test manager jobs, right? I'll simply search and it will show me all the test manager jobs that are available on the LinkedIn that has been posted on the LinkedIn. I can go ahead and see if the job description suits my profile profile and I can directly go ahead and click on apply through LinkedIn. So I'll click on say for example apply and then I can basically share my profile and continue with the job application directly on the LinkedIn using the resume that we just created on the LinkedIn. All right. So that's all about this particular video on how you can create good LinkedIn profile and why LinkedIn profile is important from the LinkedIn profile how you can create the resume and apply for jobs on LinkedIn. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.